Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Imagine Then Make. In this video, we're going to look at using layers in LibreCAD. All right, so basically we're starting with a brand new drawing. There's nothing on layer zero, the default layer. So let's go ahead and start adopting a new habit. And that is to always start our own drawings by creating our own layers. We're not going to use the default layer. So let's just say that we're going to create our first new layer and we'll we'll use a combination of numbers and some sort of a name to describe the layer. So I'll just I'll name it number one, and I'll just say um, first version. And what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you can use layers to keep track of alternate versions of your drawing. So we can go ahead and turn off layer zero because there is nothing on it. And let's go ahead and add a second layer. And this time, that's interesting. Uh, let's call it two. Second version. Okay, so now we have two layers of our own design. There's nothing on any of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw on our first version layer. And let's just draw something uh, kind of simple. Let's try and draw a simple star. I didn't like where that line went. Okay, so there's a very simple star. And that's on the first layer called first version. So let's just say that I'm not particularly thrilled with that star. So let's go ahead and draw a new version on the second version layer. And just for fun, let's go ahead and change the attributes on the second version layer number two. Let's change the color to red and we'll make the line We'll keep it continuous, but we'll make it a little thicker, just so hopefully it stands out a little bit more than the lines on the first layer, layer number one. Okay, so if I turn on endpoint, my endpoint snap, and then I go ahead and I have my layer number two is selected. You can tell because it's highlighted. Choose the line command. Now let's see, let's turn off the endpoint snap, change my mind there. Let's go to the grid point snap. And let's Okay, so there's my second version of a star. And I got to tell you, I'm not particularly happy with that one either. But by turning the layers on and off, I can switch between the versions and I can even stack them on top of each other as I'm deciding what kind of a star I really want. So let's go ahead and add another layer and let's call it three third version and let's 
set the colors up to be green. We're going to make the line one millimeter. Let's make it, let's make it considerable. Let's make it two millimeters and continuous. Okay, so my layer number three is highlighted. So let's go ahead and try and draw another star that maybe I'll be a little bit happier with. Okay, so there's my third star. And that's more like what I was originally going for. But you get the idea here that using layers, I was able to retain the older versions and kind of decide for myself what I don't like and what I do like. It's just a way of maintaining, keeping different versions of the same drawing entity but on separate layers. All right, so that's really what I wanted to show you. And I think I like this star the best.